Looking for some great SEO hacks to increase your organic traffic on your site? Well, in this video, I'm going to reveal our top nine GA4 SEO hacks so you can do just that. With the Google Search Console Queries Report, you can track how many times your pages appeared in Google search results and which search terms that they appeared for. Plus, you can even track the click-through rate and average ranking of your pages. But to really get the most out of the queries report, you'll need to connect it with Google Analytics. That way you get the queries and clicks right alongside your other Google Analytics reports. If you don't have Search Console and Google Analytics connected yet, you'll need to do that first. To get the full instructions on how you can do that, just check out our video and article on how to add Google Search Console to WordPress and Analytics. After the setup, you can determine what your organic visitors are looking for on your site by navigating to Reports then to Search Console, and then to Queries. Now you can use that data to see exactly which terms that you're ranking for and bring in traffic for and which ones that you need to work on. Pay attention to any that have a high number of impressions but lower clicks. If you're a WordPress user, you can see the Queries report right inside your WordPress dashboard using Monster Insights. Understanding the intent of your organic visitors is the heart of search engine optimization. So before you dive into finding keywords for your site or do any other SEO optimizations, you'll need to determine whether you're driving the right traffic to your site. And you'll need to know if your content is delivering what your organic visitors really want. Now to do that, look at the keyword intent. Now there are four types of keyword intent. There are navigational, where users search for a particular website. Informational, where users are searching for answers to a specific question. Investigational, where users search for information that may eventually lead to a transaction. And of course, transactional, where users are ready to buy. So for example, if you're a publisher who makes a living by making affiliate sales, then you might want to rank your website for investigational keywords. If you're selling a product, you might want to rank your landing pages for transactional keywords. If you want to attract the right traffic and generate sales and revenue, the bottom line is that you need to understand keyword intent. Before you write a piece of content around a certain keyword, run some searches on it first. See what kind of content is already ranking. What questions does it answer? What can you write that's even better that covers more? Then grab some examples from your queries report and see which landing pages are doing really well. Which queries is it ranking for? And then see how you can do that for other pieces of content on your site. For more on search intent, just see the link in the description to Optin Monster's guide on how to choose the right keywords. With all-in-one SEO, you can track the focus key phrase that you set on your blog posts and pages with Monster Insights and the Yoast plugin. The All-in-One SEO plugin gives you the option to pick a focus key phrase on every page of your site and then gives you suggestions on how you can use it appropriately. Focusing on the right keywords ensures that your site attracts visitors that are likely to be converted into leads and customers. If you're using WordPress, you can easily set up Monster Insights and use custom dimensions to track the performance of focus keywords. Be sure to check out our beginner's guide to custom dimensions for a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set it up. If you've started getting some referral traffic to your site, you might want to monitor those links for further link building opportunities. For example, if you found that someone has linked to a particular blog post of yours, you can reach out to the author and ask them whether they would provide a link to another one of your pages as well. Or you could send them some other content that they might be interested in featuring or offer to write a guest post. Now, to find the referral traffic report in GA4, just go to Reports and then to Acquisition and then to Traffic Acquisition. Now just scroll down to the table to find the referral traffic. To dive further into where those referrals actually came from, first type in Referral into the search bar to view just the referral traffic. And then select Source. Now your table will be broken down by how many referrals that you got from each referring site. Monster Insights users can see the top referrals report right in their WordPress dashboard. Your organic landing pages are the pages where your organic visitors have first landed on your site. You can analyze how well those pages are working by looking at their click-through rate, bounce rate, pages per session, and more in the Search Console. To find a basic report on your organic landing pages in GA4, you can set up a Search Console report and then go to Reports and then to Search Console and then to Google Organic Search Traffic. To get a more comprehensive understanding of your landing pages, you'll want to create a custom landing pages report. Analyzing your organic landing pages report will give you a clear picture of how your visitors are engaging 
and navigating through your site. If Google sends traffic to your page that has a lower average engagement time per session, that signals to Google that the organic visitors didn't get what they wanted on the site. Now, to keep the search rankings intact for your page, you should try to improve those metrics. The speed of your website is an important factor that can make or break your online business. Just a one-second delay can reduce your conversion rate by 7%. If your site takes more than three seconds to load, 40% of visitors will abandon the site, and 79% of web shoppers never return to a site if they have issues with the site's performance. GA4 does not include a site speed report like Universal Analytics did, so you'll have to use the core Web Vitals report in Search Console. Or, if you're just using Monster Insights, you can see the site speed report right on your WordPress dashboard. Traffic campaigns are an awesome way to level up your traffic tracking in Google Analytics. They give you more information about your traffic so you can decide what's working and what's not. For instance, if you're sending out your new content in a newsletter, you can use campaigns to see what type of content that your subscribers are most interested in. Let's say you're sending out a newsletter to your subscribers and you're using something like Constant Contact. Well, you can use a tool like the Monster Insights URL Builder to create a custom URL to share the newsletter. And after you get some clicks on that URL, you'll be able to find the data in Google Analytics under Acquisition, Traffic Acquisition. And then once you're there, just click on the Session Default Channel Grouping dropdown. Now just choose Session Campaign. Then you'll see your traffic broken down by campaign. Now keep in mind that UTM Term and UTM Content are not currently reported in GA4. To learn more about that, check out Google's official GA4 campaign instructions. Google is constantly refining its search algorithms, so your search traffic is bound to fluctuate from time to time. With GA4, you can keep an eye on how those algorithm changes are affecting your traffic by setting up a custom Insight notification so you can fix it before you lose a lot of traffic. To set up a custom Insight notification, just scroll down to Insights, then click the blue Create button. On the next page, Google Analytics will give you a whole list of suggestions, or you can just scroll down to create a custom one if you don't see the one you need. Then click either Create Selected from Google's Suggested Insights or Create Your Own, and you'll be all set up to get email alerts. It's a good idea to monitor how traffic from different regions is affecting your site and whether you're attracting the traffic from the right regions. So to find out, how that's affecting your site, just open up Google Analytics, then head to User, and then to Demographics, and then to Demographic Details. Now scroll down to the table. You'll notice that it's sorted by country. Now you can sort it by region or city by clicking the drop down and choosing the region or city. Now you can see how traffic from those regions or cities is doing on your site. See if one has a shorter engagement time and determine if people are finding what they were looking for in your site. And there you have it, our nine Google Analytics 4 SEO hacks to increase your organic traffic. With Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter. See why over 3 million websites use us. If you're not already using Monster Insights, there's a discount link in the description. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.